Hello and welcome to GED Mathematics Live at Pulse. In this video, we will be talking about systems of equations. In this lesson, we will look into solving system of equations with two unknowns and word problems involving systems of equations with two unknowns. To start, Systems of two equations with two unknowns are often needed to represent real-life situations. To solve a system means to find values for the unknowns that make both equations true at the same time. One common way to do this is a technique called linear combination or elimination. And another one also is what we call substitution. Now, the idea of elimination is to multiply one or both equations by a number that will cause one of the variables to be cancelled out when the equations are added. What number is used depends on the equation and it takes practice to know which one to use. Follow these steps. Step one, multiply one or both of the equations by a number chosen because it will eliminate one of the variables. Step two, add the equations. Step three, solve the equations that results from step two. Step four, use the result to find the value of the other variable. Let's try using an example. So we have two equations. Equation 1, 3x minus y is equals to 13. Equation 2, 5x plus 2y is equals to 18. So let's follow the steps. Step 1, multiply 1 or both of the equation by a number chosen because it will eliminate one of the variables. Since I want to eliminate y, so I'm going to multiply the first equation by 2. So, it gives me 6x minus 2y is equals to 26. And equation 2 remains the same, 5x plus 2y is equals to 18. Step 2, add the equations. Okay, adding the equations, cancelled out the y because negative 2y plus 2y is 0. So, gives me 11x is equals to 44. I'm doing the multiplication by dividing both sides by, by 11. Gives me 4 as a value of x. Since I already have the value of x, which is 4, I simply substitute the 4 to the value of x in either of the two equations given. So this time I'm gonna I'm gonna substitute 4 to the value of x in equation 1. Gives me 3 times 4 is 12 minus y is equal to 13 and doing 12 by minusing 12 on both sides gives me negative y is equal to 1 and doing the negative gives me negative 1 as a value of y. So the solution to the system of equations is x is equal to 4 and y is equal to negative 1. Let's try another example. 3a plus 4b is equal to 18. And another equation, 2a plus 6b is equal to negative 32. Since I want to get rid of a to cancel out a first, so I'm going to multiply 2 to the first equation and negative 3 to the second equation gives me a new uh, equation, a new value, new equations. 6a plus 8b is equal to negative 36 and negative 6a minus negative 18b is equal to 96. Then adding, uh, adding the two equations cancelled out 6a and negative 6a gives me negative 10b is equal to 60. 
then dividing both sides by negative 10 gives me negative 6 for the value of b. And then substitute negative 6 to the value b on either of the two equations. And here I chose uh, the first equation again. So it gives me 3a plus plus 4 times negative 6 gives me negative 24. Then undoing the negative 24 by adding 24 gives me 3a is equals to 6. Dividing both sides by 3, a is equals to 2. So the solution to the system of equation, a is equals to 2 and b is equals to negative 6. Next is another method. Okay, the next method is solving by substitution. And it works by solving one of the equation for one of the variables. And then plugging this back into the other equation, substituting for the chosen variable and solving for the other. Then you back solve for the first variable. Okay, let me share with you this uh, simple step to solve a system using the substitution method. First, solve one linear equation for y in terms of x. Step two, then substitute the expression for y in the other linear equation. You'll get an equation in x. Solve this and you have the x coordinate of the intersection. And step four, then plug in x to either equation to find the corresponding y coordinate. Let's try an example. Sys solve the system 3x plus 2y is equal to 16 and 7x plus y is equal to 19. So solve the second equation for y because it's easy to rearrange uh, the second equation for y. So by rearranging the equation, we've got y is equal to 19 minus 7x as a uh, value of y. And then substitute this value of y to the first equation then gives me 3x plus 2 times 19 minus 7x equals to 16. Then simplifying the whole operations gives a value of 2 for x. Then uh, to find the value of y, you can substitute uh, 2 as a value of x. To the equation y is equals to 19 minus 7x gives us 5 as a value of y. So the solution is 2 and 5. 2 for x, 5 for y. Another example is solve the following system by substitution. Okay, the two equations are 2x minus 3y is equals to negative 2. 4x plus y is equal to 24. Okay. Rearranging, rearranging the second equation, because it's easy to rearrange the equation to find a value for y. We have uh, y is equal to minus 4x plus 24. And then substituting this value of y to the first equation gives us 2x minus 3 times 4 minus 4x plus 24 is equal to negative 2. Uh, simplifying using the distributive law and combining like terms, we've got x is equal to 5. Then the value of 5 will be substituted to the value, no, the value of 5 will be substituted to the value of x to y is equal to minus 4x plus 24, give us 4 for the value of y. So then the solution is 5 and 4. 5 for x and y for 4. Now let's uh, try looking into word problems involving system of equations. Okay, we will be applying either 
elimination or substitution, which one work best for a given uh, equations. Okay, let's try the first example. It says, a high school club sold tickets to a basketball game in order to raise money. Club members raised $205 by selling 35 tickets. For people with a family member in the club, the tickets cost $5. For everyone else, tickets cost $8. How many tickets did club members sell to people with family members in the club? So first, let F be the number sold to people with family members in the club and T be the number sold to everyone else. So we have F plus T is equal to 35. And then, uh, making another equation, the price of uh, tickets sold to people with family members is $5. So we, we have $5 times the number of people with family members plus $8 to the number of uh, the number of tickets sold to everyone else uh, giving us a total of 205 so now we have two equations now using these two equations we can find uh, the number of tickets sell to people with family members in the club. So continuing, uh, using elimination, we can, uh, we can multiply negative 8 to the first equation so that we can eliminate T, giving us uh, a new equation, negative 8F minus 8T is equal to negative 280. And the second equation is still the same. 5F plus 8T is equal to 205. Then adding, adding them together, adding the two equations, give us negative 3F is equal to negative 75. So undoing, undoing the multiplication by dividing both sides by negative 3 gives us uh, 25 for the value of F. And F symbolizes or represents the number of tickets sold to family members. So there were 25 tickets sold to family members. Okay, another example is a gym is storing five pound and 10 pound dumbbells. If there are a total of 10 dumbbells weighing 70 pounds altogether, how many 10 pound dumbbells does the gym have in storage? So let's call this X as 5 pound and y 10 pound okay so x plus y is equal to 10 so the number of x plus the number of y is equal to 10 and the total kilogram so 5 pound times x so 5 and 10 pound times y so we have 5x plus 10 y the total weight is 70 pounds altogether so using these two equations Uh, we can find the number of 10 pound dumbbells the gym has in their storage. So negative 5 times x plus y is equal to negative 5 times 10 to eliminate uh, x because I'm interested with the 10 pound so I'm going to eliminate the x because I don't need it. Gives me negative 5x minus negative 5y is equal to negative 50 and copying the second equation 5x plus 10y is equal to 70 and adding uh, x is cancelled out giving me 5y is equal to 20 then undoing by dividing both sides by 5 gives me 4 as a value of y so since y represents the 10 pound dumbbell so there are Four 10 pound dumbbells in storage. Now, I want you to try solving the following systems of equations. 
maybe you can uh, you can pause the video and then uh, continue the video when you are done and check your answer okay are you done okay here are the answer for number one x is equals to negative one and y is equals to one for number two x is equals to 4 and y is equals to 4. For number 3, x is equals to 0 and y is equals to 2. And for number 4, x is equals to 1 and y is equals to 6. And for number 5, okay, how many of the coins are nickels? There are 14 nickels. So that's the end of our video. If you have any questions, if or if you did not understand parts of the presentation, you can comment below. And if you want to know more about Phuket Pulse, you can visit www.phuketpulse.org or you can contact us through our Facebook, Phuket Pulse, or call us on 081-417-0978.